dear friends i am very happy to explain you the systems today actually there are many types of systems in our life our institute is also a system our computer is a system kehte hain log ki hamara system kharab ho gaya wo bhi ek system hai ek system operating system hai aise koi bhi cheez jise hum कह सकते हैं एक फंक्शन करती है उसे हम सिस्टम कहते हैं बट यहाँ पे हमारी स्टडी लिमिटेड है ओनली फॉर सिस्टम्स रिलेटेड टू सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग सो इन इंजीनियरिंग एंड सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग ए सिस्टम इज अ वे टू प्रोसेस इनपुट सिग्नल्स एंड प्रोसेसिंग प्रोड्यूस आउटपुट सिग्नल्स द सिस्टम कैन बी डिस्क्राइब यूजिंग मैथमेटिकल मॉडल्स these mathematical models help us to understand how the input signal affects the output signal there are two main types of systems in signal processing continuous time systems and discrete time systems i will take first continuous time systems a continuous time system processes input signals that vary continuously over time the output of a continuous time system is also continuous over time examples of continuous time systems include analog filters rectifiers uh, attenuators which are used to filter signals in the electronic circuits analog circuits in mathematics continuous time systems are represented using differential equations these equations describe how the input signal affects the output signal at any given time one way to think about this is that the output of a continuous time system depends on both the input signal and its history that means how the input signal has varied over the time in the history okay understood now let me introduce you discrete time systems the discrete time system as its name suggest it processes input signals that change only at discrete intervals of time the output signal of discrete time systems also changes only at these intervals of time examples of discrete time systems include digital filters that are finite impulse response filter and infinite impulse response filter we will study these filters in the digital signal processing course so you don't have to worry right now okay so these digital filters are used to filter signals in digital signal process okay now in mathematics discrete time systems are represented with the help of difference equations these equations describe how the input signal affects the output signal at each time step one way to think about this is that the output of discrete time systems depends only on the current input signal and the previous sig output signal that is the history how the input signal had changed over the discrete time intervals in the previous time so similar to the continuous time signal it also depends on the history it it may or may not depend on the history okay now it is important to note the difference important difference between continuous time and discrete time systems that is a uh, continuous time system have an infinite number of possible input values while discrete time systems have only a finite number of possible input values additionally continuous time systems are typically represented using functions or equations which while discrete uh, Uh, continuous time systems are 
represented with the help of functions or equations while discrete time systems are represented by using sequences. If you don't know about the sequences, you can refer my previous videos. In summary, I can say continuous time systems process input signals that vary continuously over time and output signal is also continuous over the time. And discrete time systems process input signals that change only at discrete intervals of time. And the output signal also changes only at the discrete intervals of time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe.